A fun homecoming parade in the small town of Blanchardville quickly turned to controversial. While the Pecatonica School District does not sponsor the event, they strongly condemn a, a quote, racist float that appeared. And the issue has continued to stir up debates on social media. Amanda Quintana has the story. There's still pictures of alumni, streamers, and posters lining Main Street. But what a lot of people remember is a float that appeared during the parade. I was just totally shocked, like very surprised that it even made it to be in the parade. The woman who took this picture on Saturday and posted it to social media, now scared to show her face after the backlash she's gotten. I was just stunned that it, people, that grown adults would think that that is okay and that they don't see the racism behind it. To me, it's, it's so obvious. Ahead of the game between Pecatonica, Argyle, and Southwestern in a parade put on by the Blanchardville Pecatonica Alumni Association, the 2004 alumni rode on this float. The sign saying, Trump needs a wall to deal with the Southwestern crew. The men in the ponchos were trying to um, jump over the fence or climb up it, basically just trying to get to the other side. Um, and the men in the jerseys were pushing them down. One of them was kind of like punching uh, one of the men in the ponchos, uh, pantomiming it. While others on social media and even the school district are calling it racist, many in the village of Blanchardville think it was a joke. Well, people are taking it the wrong way and they're blowing it way out of proportion. The village president agrees, commenting it's a non-issue when someone is trying to make an issue about nothing. It's a football game. They were pushing them back, you know. Yeah, so it was part of the football and then part of the president, you know, building that wall. But I don't think it was racist at all. The village clerk says because the Alumni Association puts on this parade, the village has no say in what floats go into the parade. They just clear the road. In Blanchardville, Amanda Quintana, News 3 Now. The Alumni Association tells us they haven't met yet to discuss the issue, so they aren't commenting on what they will change, if anything, to make sure something like this does not happen again. Today